our dreams that show us our real dimension, we don't really find it easy to accept that. And we struggle. Because that's really scary. And I struggle with it. And if we look at the history of the response to dreams, which also begins in Genesis, especially in the second part of the Joseph novella, the part where Joseph interprets, he changes from a dreamer to a dream interpreter. He interprets the dreams of Pharaoh and the baker and the cupbearer. We see the turning away from the dream as a revelation of the awesome to the idea of the dream as a mental puzzle that should be solved. Okay, so we move from what I would call the school of jo uh, Jacob to the school of Joseph. The school of Joseph the interpreter. And that becomes the trend in Judaism and in Christianity. That's why, in part, we have lost the promise of the dream. The rabbis take the dream. And of course, when everyone says the rabbis say, you know it's wrong because the rabbis say a lot of things and they're very contradictory. They have minority opinions, they're all true. But generally, the takeaway from Barachot, where the rabbis talk about dream interpretation, is the concept of amelioration. And what is amelioration? Amelioration is whatever you dreamed, it was for the good. And the ceremony is you go with your buddies to say, I had a dream, and they say, it's for the good. And they say a few prayers, and you forget your dream. That fear of the dream, I think, is the same as Jacob's fear. It's the fear of the awesome. It's the fear of what happens in this unconditional space that a dream opens up. And I see that the problem is not so much interpretation, but fearful interpretation. That we interpret our dreams away from their power in order to control that power, in order to bring it, instead of bringing it to change, we bring it to understanding. Understanding, I believe my friend Mark said once, is the booby prize. Understanding is the booby prize. You get to understand when you don't change. When you don't want to change. And Jacob struggled to make a deal out of his dream. Is my struggle to make deals and bargains out of my dreams, which I still struggle with. And it's why I'm not a teacher, but I am a student of my dreams. My dreams are my teachers. My dreams are my angels. Maybe the best thing to do after a dream is to do what Dumia does. Thank you.